just uh, as far as playing your last game in the shoe, my, I imagine had a this time had to fly by for you here, just being here four years. Yeah, it did. I still remember the day my mom dropped me off. And I ran and chased the car. <laughs> I, ain't, I, ain't, I wasn't ready, man. It was a tough process getting here. Uh, almost missed my flight. I had to I had to be here the day after my graduation. So like, it was so hectic. And I missed my flight coming here. Almost missed it. After the the, the uh, poly like kind of held the plane for me. So I remember that day. It was all bad. And then, from off the plane, I came to workouts. Like, so I remember the first day here, but it do seem like it was just yesterday and time fly. It's crazy how time fly. And people told me time was gonna fly, and I never thought I'd be in this position. Did you really chase the car? You didn't really chase the car. But my mom, cause, so when I flew here, you know, I came by myself with my mom and my grandparents came up here to bring the rest of my stuff. Okay. So it was like a whole week without them. And I ain't had all of my stuff, and I was workouts was bad, all that stuff was terrible. I remember them coming up here for a couple of like a day, and the last day, you know, they pulling off, and I kind of like chasing the car a little bit. I ain't, I was sad, man. I was, you know, sad, a little fresh. Take me with you, huh? Take me with you. Yeah, I didn't want because I was just getting my butt kicked every day in the weight room, and I won't never used to that. Like, so it just. I remember that first, I that first time. Mickey walked you in his baby step. He was very gentle with you guys. Who? Mickey, I thought Mickey was <laughs> kind and gentle with you guys. No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. It's full. It's was it full like boot go. camp? As soon as, you hit the, as soon as I got off the plane, it, it's been full go ever since. Do you remember what you weighed back then? Because you're, I mean, you bulked up quite a bit. I mean, were you like, how, how big were you coming in, Jalen? Do you remember? Like 225, maybe, because I could eat. So like 225 when I first got here. And then after like once the summer and like one semester, at the end of my freshman year, I was like 255. And then sophomore year, I was 260. And like now I'm 280. <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs> it's good weight though. It's not, it's it's not like when I put weight on. You're, you're putting good weight on now. Yeah, I hope so. Did you ever get to a point that you were maybe a little too homesick to want to stick around for the long haul? That wouldn't give up. Oh yeah. I mean, not necessarily just give up, but at least no, transfer I hit the, out and go somewhere I hit else. The, I hit the brick wall. Camp, camp was your freshman year. Yeah, like I seen a bird fly one time in practice. I'm like, I wish I'm that bird. Like, <laughs> I didn't want to be here at all. And my mom like had to like talk. You know, she, she did her little mom thing and made me stay. But it was a hard time because I just wasn't. It's it's a it's a it's a tough time for anybody. Like the game faster, everybody just as good as you, if not better. And, you know, the playbook three times bigger, you gotta learn it. So it was a tough time as a freshman, but uh, I'm glad I went through it because, I mean, it made me who I am today. She Thank told you. you no? Oh, yeah, yeah. Cause I was, you know, I'm talking to my mom, like I'm going to North State, like I'm cool on this. <laughs> She's just like, if you come back home, you ain't living here. So I ain't had nowhere else to go either. Be in Ohio State or be homeless. <laughs> Free room and board was better than you. It's yeah. a heck of a slogan. Right? <laughs> yeah. Considering, that, considering that, how long did it take you to really feel comfortable here, you think? Really, after that first camp, like just going through that whole that tough process, uh, I feel like the seniors on that team really helped me adjust quickly. Uh, it just <laughs> kept encouraging me and kept me going. So after that first camp, I kind of feel like, you know, I'm in the right place because I had help. So that's why, like, now me being a senior and I see the freshmen go through what they go through, it's, it's just funny because it's the, you know, the more things change, the more they stay the same. So, I mean, it's just, it's just like, you sound just like me. They think they're the only ones that had to go through that. And it's like, I didn't been through it before. You know what I mean? But it, it's just, it's funny now. When I was doing it, it won't funny. But. How much have you had to give the, you know, stick with it speech, you know, to the younger guys? Every like, day. I've been doing it every day since they got here. Like, it seemed like every freshman <laughs> got a different day when they felt like they just want to give up. And I understand because the day's long. You got to wake up, tutoring, practice, tutoring, you know, study. So they're not used to it because in high school, you do what you want to come. <laughs> You've taken steps forward as a person and as a football player uh, during your time at OSU. Which do you think was the more, which journey think, do you think took you the farthest? You know what I mean? You took, you took steps, which did you take more steps in, as a man or as a football player? I feel like as a, as a man, really. Uh, uh, Ohio State basically gave me the platform 
to, you know, speak for the people who can't, especially back home, especially coming from where I come from. And uh, it, it gave me an opportunity to be an example of somebody who can change. Because I won't always like this. Trust me, believe me, you wouldn't want to meet me five years ago. <laughs> so, like, just just being an example to give those kids that different perspective that they could be somebody. Because uh, where I'm from, you really don't see too much. So, uh, I feel like Ohio State made me a better man. That's kind of the reason why I chose Ohio State. You mentioned the seniors who are in front of you. Is there one particular senior that, that helped you along, like you've helped some of the current freshmen along? When I was a freshman? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, Curtis Grant. Uh, Adolphus Washington wasn't a senior, but uh, Rashad Frazier, Stevie Miller, uh, Braxton Miller. You know, he was going through what he was going through with the shoulder, so he was. I was right there with him. Uh, I'm, I can't think of some names right now. Joel Hill, Michael Bennett, like those guys kept me going every day they, they kept encouraging me and you know they, they took me in chase Ferris, i could go all day like i just remember like my freshman year when we was hungry they had to throw a cookout and we wouldn't have to do nothing but take out the trash so, like <laughs> so we kind of try to do that because now we do the same thing we had to throw a cookout cook all the food and all they gotta do is burn their stomachs well, we eat trash. souls if you yeah. want to you know put some of them on the grill remember <laughs> who you said what you eat souls mm-hmm. what's you, you, Last week you told us we eat souls. Oh yeah. So if you want to put some souls on the grill, yeah, have a cookout. Y'all, y'all nice today though. <laughs> just wait. Chilling. What's the what's the just best? Wait. Just wait. <laughs> we got rolling here. What's the best thing about being an Ohio State football player? Uh, really just the camaraderie. I feel like the brotherhood that we have here is gonna last forever. Then you know those guys that come back all the time, and it, it's like you know them. Like it's guys who come like uh, what's his name? I can't remember his name. But I don't even know his name right now. And he played like 15 years ago, but we share the same story. So the tradition and what we do as a team, uh, somehow I'll never forget, and I, I really appreciate it. Jamarco said he came in as a freshman wanting to play, and then the first practice he realized he wasn't he wasn't good enough. Is that how it went for you as well? Yeah. Probably thought I was going to come here and play. For real, you to ask me in high school, I'm coming to take Joey Bosa's spot. <laughs> and I seen Joey Bosa in person. Like, nah, I ain't playing. <laughs> <laughs> like nah, you see Steve Miller in person. You're like nah, I, just, I got a lot of work to do. Was but those two guys really helped me a lot. Was there somebody on the offensive line that you went against that first time, and it kind of uh, brought you back to reality? That, that elf line, real humbling experience. <laughs> so you go guys like that who you know who's been in the program and sees it, and you know you just a little fresher from Virginia, thinking you could, you could take on the world, but they pipe you down a little bit. <laughs> If you're a your grandkids someday, what's the Ohio State story that they're going to get tired of hearing Pappy tell them? Uh, the the runs that we made, it's just a lot of different stories. Just the, the jokes we do in the locker room, uh, talking about how she's going to eat, just different stuff. I'd, I'd have had a lot of memories here, and it's just more just from football, just just the, the friends I done made and the times that I, I spent with my, with my teammates. Joe, and you, your first year here, you guys won the national championship. I know that you're not thinking that way now. You're thinking about old, only Illinois. But knowing that that is out there, how much of an incentive is there that, yeah, if we do what we're supposed to do today, tomorrow, <laughs> against Illinois on Saturday, we have that chance? I mean, really, I feel like the focus is just being them. Like, I'm not even thinking about nothing else. I just know that we we got to take care of Illinois. Uh, they gonna come in here and play hard, and they gonna play hard the whole game, and we gotta accomplish that. I I can't look in the future. I just gotta focus on you know, having things. Yeah, it seems like you know after the, the Iowa game, uh, Mike Weber was saying after the you know last week's win that you guys just kind of stripped it down, went back to basics, and it does seem like that attitude is just kind of one game at a time mentality. Yeah, just you know appreciate like after the Michigan State game, just appreciate that win because you know sometimes you take wins for granted like they just come but uh just appreciate the wins and then you know gotta focus on this team get back to the bases and one week at a time and i feel like you know everything will work itself out jalen i got a chance to ask taekwon and tracy this what do you think of miami's turnover chain it's dope it's dope i mean it's it's you know the you known for their swagger so it doesn't surprise me that they have it i mean i, I don't want to do nothing like that because that, that's just taking a little style but 
I like it. But you wouldn't want to have like a prop on the sideline, you know, you get a turnover or something like that. Like at Alabama, you get the belt or Tennessee, get to dunk the ball in the trash can. That's, do, that's what they do. We probably do something else, you know, do celebration or just dance, but we're not going to take no. We cool with that. We can let them do that. You get a buck out leak, don't you? It is the buck out leak. I'd rather take that. Those last week, they they going for weeks. <laughs> Are you gonna take some time on Saturday and look around the stadium and soak it in a little bit? Yeah, I ain't, I've been trying to think about that. <laughs> like I've been trying to think about like the game, but yeah, that running out running out to the fans for the last time is I ain't gonna cry, but you know, <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough moment. Are you sure you're not going to cry? I mean, are you sure? I mean, you're, My you're, problem is you ain't going to cry. Yeah, yeah. How do you know that? How do you know that, Jeff? No, I ain't going to cry. <laughs> I'm going to just keep telling myself that right now, so I'll be cool. Do you, think, do you think any of your teammates will cry? Who's the most likely? Tracy going to cry. <laughs> JT going to cry. Billy going to cry? He definitely gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> William, William, William going to cry. I, ain't, I don't call Billy Billy. William going to cry. Yeah, uh, who Hold on. Jamarco? Nah. Jamarco. Me and Jamarco probably the only ones that's not going to grab. <laughs> Thanks, Jalen. Thanks, Jalen. Thanks, Jalen.